Hello everyone and welcome to my channel or welcome back. Uh, so I'm here to run through the unempties, so everything that I did not empty for the week. Um, I mentioned in my previous video, I feel like maybe I em emptied more than I didn't. Um, so I'm hoping this video is quicker than my empties, but normally it's the other way around. So um, apologies if that between the two of them I've rambled on too much. Um, just a lot of wax. Um, that's my problem every week, really. Uh, so starting with the clams. So I've got one lonely cube left of Super Tarts Darth Maul. Strawberries, tea and cakes, pie crust. Love this. This is one of my favourite tea and cake scents. I think I say that every time I talk about a Super Tarts tea and cake scent. Like, she just does my favourite tea and cakes blends. Um, I love the smell of tea and cakes. And it's always very distinct in every blend. But in this one, just the... That pop of the straw, that bright fruitiness from the strawberry just completely transforms it. It smells so good. Um, the pie crust, look, I don't feel like I detect a pie crust note when I'm smelling it. I mostly get tea and cakes and just that really nice strawberry. Um, but that said, it could, it, it's probably playing a role in there, sort of amping up the, you know, the bakery aspect of the tea and cakes. I get super strong through from this and I 100% need to repurchase this. It's making me nervous that I only have one cube left. I don't think... I got a couple of orders from Super Tarts on the way. No, so I'm just thinking it through. I've got Fright Night stuff. It's not in that. And I did an order for bakery, a bakery pre-order and it wasn't in that either. So no, I don't have any of that one on the way. So that makes me nervous. Um, Super Tarts Mango Mama's Family. So Mango Lemon Custard Laundry Blackberry. So the Mama's Family scent itself, I remember was one of the first ever Super Tarts scents I tried. I bought it from a D-Stash like, God, like 18 months ago or more. And I didn't like it. There was something about, I found the lemon curd, the blackberry and the laundry. It all just didn't gel together for me. Um, but this I really enjoy. And look, it, to be honest, it's been a while. I could probably try Mama's Family again because I feel like, I was a bit funny about lemon curd back then, but now I really enjoy it. So my nose has shifted a little bit, but I definitely think this is better. I think the mango cuts the lemon curd a little bit and blends it because I like mango and blackberry together. So I feel like the mango just kind of rolls into that blackberry better. Um, and then the laundry is just a bit of clean, sweet, like, you know, a bit of cleanness to it without being like too laundry-ish. So I really enjoy this one. Throw was, I wouldn't say it was super strong. I'd say it was sort of medium high. Um, I'm not feeling like I have to get this one again. Um, we'll see how I go melting through it. But, I mean, I could. I, if I had more of it, I would melt it. I would enjoy it. But it's not like one that's screaming out to me as must repurchase. So I'm a bit annoyed this one. Um, seriously, it got leaked on by um, this scoop because it was fragrance oil escaped. So it's like super greasy and just ah so that's bugging me uh so outlander by super tarts so that's green tweed blue lagoon water fresh ozone greenery and peppermint really enjoyed this i think it was way better warmed up than it smells cold um it reminds me a little bit of and i think it's just the element of peppermint but it reminds me of like the kind of aquatic fresh version of arrow so if you smell arrow which is like mossy birch peppermint sticks and rain to me, that's got like that sort of uh, birch black pepper kind of smell with the peppermint. This, the pep, I think it's just that twist of peppermint just reminds me of it. But this is fresher and greener and more aquatic. Um, so I really, really enjoyed this one. I think I like Arrow a bit more um, with the pepper and the kind of just how it is. But that said, I still, you know, really enjoyed this. It was really strong. Um... I, I think it's not, I feel like it's not one I need to hoard. Like Arrow is one that I get multiple clams of, but I feel like I would continue to, you know, when this one runs out, I probably will replace it. Um, and I'm contemplating whether I need to like take this one out of the clam. I'm hoping that the, I don't think the oil leaked into it, but it's super greasy right now. Um, so Southbound Cherry Vanilla Cola. So mouthwatering blend of cherry vanilla and cola. Um, this is really, really good. So I had this in the kitchen today and it smells super authentic. It smells just like the fizzy drink 
you know, it smells like vanilla cola. It smells a little bit like cherry cola, but not too strong on the cherry cola. Um, so, and I love cola scents, so I'm re really, really enjoying this. Um, I will say it probably only threw strongly for about four to five hours. Um, I was out there just before and I couldn't smell it very strongly. So um, maybe doesn't have the staying power I would have liked, but um, still a really good scent, still quite strong. Um, possibly would repurchase. I don't know. I haven't decided. Um, I think I think I would. I mean, I like cola scents. Um, Super Tarts, it's a jolly holiday. So funnel cakes and blackberry. So funnel cake is actually... I, I'm not familiar, so I don't really have a scent reference because a funnel cake, I think, is a very US kind of concept. Um, I was trying to searching, trying to search around, try to figure out if we had anything like a funnel cake, and I don't think we do. Now, what I get from this is a kind of spiced, almost aniseed-like blackberry bakery. Whether that's what a funnel cake is like or not, I don't know. But that's what I get. Um, the throw was sort of medium to high, somewhere in between. Um, it was a nice scent. It's probably not my favourite blackberry bakery, so I don't think I would get it again. But it was fine. I mean, I'll see how I go melting the rest of it. But yeah, it's not calling to me at the moment. Uh, pumpkin parcel scent Sandy. So um, partner to the one that I emptied, Danny from she had like a grease lightning collection. Um, this one's meant to be like kind of a velvet woodsy base with some florals um, and I think a touch of fruit as well. I don't know what it is, but I don't smell any. I barely smell anything from this one, both cold and warm. Yeah, this one's really weird. I feel like my nose is blocking something in this because um, it's like there's a scent there, but my nose isn't detecting it. So... Um, yeah, so not something I would repurchase because my nose just doesn't like it. Uh, other clams, so, uh, Maple and Wattle Unicorn Dreams. This is grapefruit and fizzy soda, I think, and something else. I feel like it had something else in it, but pretty much all I got was the quite a strong tart grapefruit. And then like a lemon lime fizzy pop scent. So it was actually not bad. It is very refreshing um, and definitely not too sweet because that grapefruit is very tart. Um, I got strong throw from this. Um, I'm not feeling like it's one I need to repurchase, but it's not bad. Uh, Maple and Model Tropical Cotton Candy. So this one's, um, I think it's guava cotton candy. Um... Or maybe it's mango. It's it's got definitely a sweet. It's definitely a sweet tropical. So I feel like it's actually more like a mango candy. Maybe it is mango. Maybe I'm misremembering. But anyway, it was a nice scent. The throw was probably only medium to high. Um, it wasn't the strong as strong as I expected. Um, it was a nice scent. I don't feel like I need to get it again. Uh, Teddy Bee's blackberry frosted circus cookies and god damn it, this one's got <sighs> grease on it as well. I'm really annoyed about that and it's also got melted wax I've not looked after this so well uh, so this is blackberry jam blended with our frosted circus sugar cookies so this one was not in the pre-order this weekend but I wanted to try it anyway just to get a better handle on her frosted circus cookies um, on cold I don't know what it is whether it needs more cure time or what I don't know because on cold I get a real hit of that sugar cookies and it smells amazing but on warm, it just, it kind of fizzles a little bit. Um, I kind of just got a light cookie like blackberry scent on warm. It, 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 the throw was kind of medium at best, which is not standard for me for Teddy Bees. So I have ordered a couple of frosted circus cookie scents in this pre-order. I did cut the list back. I had more planned. I got less. Um, because I thought based on cold that I was going to be absolutely head over heels in love with her frosted circus cookies, but now I've melted it. I'm a little bit unsure. It still smells really good. Like just perfect creamy bakery, but yeah, it just didn't quite melt as well as I was hoping. Um, again, it could just be my nose is just not working with it because sometimes I melt things and I'm not sure. And then I come back to them a little bit later and then they're amazing. So 
I'm thinking that's a possibility. Um, and I'm also thinking I'll leave let this cure a bit more because look, it's five ish weeks old, so which should be enough. But you know, it's not like it's had months to cure or anything. It's only it's only just over a month old. So um, I'll, I'll I'll see if that works as well. But yeah, it's not quite. I I still haven't decided how good or not that frosted circus cookies smell is from her uh so sassy girl aroma south park south side serpents so this is a blend of smooth a hint of smooth leather tobacco sweetened marshmallow and sweet bakery um did not get leather from this like at all so i get on this one i really just get the bakery oh it's almost like there is a i think it's the tobacco there is a hint of like a kind of manly smell but it's really just a sugary marshmallow bakery with a hint of just a very light touch of something darker so um it wasn't bad um but it maybe wasn't as good as i was hoping um the throw was good um but i don't feel like i need to get that one again couple of scoops so l3 maxi wonders beechwood vetiver golden sands caribbean escape so i love me some beechwood vetiver it's sweet and fresh and just gorgeous i can smell it here on cold quite a bit warmed up um and i'm not sure whether it was the golden sands or the caribbean escape there was a really sugary sweet pop to this and i am picking it up here um but it got even stronger warm so it was definitely fresh it's aquatic it's beachy but it was quite sweet, like surprisingly sweet. Um, the throw was medium to high, somewhere in between. Um, and I enjoyed it. I've got a lot to get through in this scoop. I don't feel like when it's done, it's one that I'll need to get again, but it's it's nice. Um, this scoop, Patchouli Rain Newt Scamander. So Newt Scamander being Rainforest Sugar Cane. And I can't remember what else is in Newt Scamander. Um, this was a custom of mine, and I freaking love it. It's got that juicy green wetness from the rainforest sugar cane. But then it's blended with a beautiful, just light, earthy lean. But to me, it's really all about that rainforest sugar cane. It smells phenomenal. Throws super strongly. I will, you know, if she lets us do, if she brings back customs at some point, 100% would do this one again. Love this scent. Um, probably one of my favourite customs to date from her or from, from anywhere, really. Um, candles from the Keeping Room, Tiffany's Mango Cupcake. So mango blended with cupcakes at Tiffany's. Um, one of the few cupcakes at Tiffany's scents that I like. I don't know, something about the fruity mango, even though it's quite sugary, because the cupcakes at Tiffany makes everything smell super sugary. But with this mango, it, re it works. So it kind of cuts that coffee, the, not coffee, the toffee scent down, which I think is what I don't like too much about um, cupcakes at Tiffany's. Um, so, yeah, it's, it's not definitely not like strong fruity mango. It's like a, yeah, it's a sweetened kind of almost like a jelly lolly kind of like a mango lolly or something. But um, it smells good. Throws good. Um, this is a repurchase, so I had it as a sample and I poured it, but I don't think I'll need to get it again after this. Like, I think I'm, you know, pretty much done with it. Also from Candles in the Keeping Room, I did Mango Berry Tea. Um, this one, when I had it melting, I walked into the room and it smelled like something. I couldn't remember. I can't remember what I thought was melting. No, I can't remember. I thought something completely different was melting. I was surprised when I sort of went back and checked my um, my photos because I, the what basically the way I keep track of what I'm melting is I take pictures of it um, for Instagram. So if I forget what's melting in a particular warmer, I'll go back and look at my pictures. It's actually got a really strong floral element to me here. I think I thought this was like a fresh kind of floral scent. It did not smell like berries or tea or even mangoes. Like, like I'm kind of getting a little bit of that here cold, but it definitely didn't smell like that warm. 
um, and I'm definitely getting a floral vibe off it. So it's kind of weird. Um, throw is medium to high. Um, and I don't think I need to get this one again. It's actually been sitting there for a while. It's just not called for me. Called me to melt it, if that makes sense. Um, Rose Girls Pear Passion Fruit Peeps Cake. Um, so this one created an absolutely stunning wax pool. Um, well, I mean, melting pool. Once it was melted down, it was just blah, purple. But you can see those colours melting together looked super cool. Um... I don't love this scent. I feel like it's a super sweet overripe pear. And then the passion fruit. With passion fruit is definitely sweet, but I like my passion fruits to have a little bit of tartness to it. And I, that's what I was kind of hoping for this blend, was that there would be a kind of tart passion fruit to cut down the sweetness of the, the pear, but it doesn't. It amps. It's actually a super sweet, sickly sweet passion fruit, which amps up the sweet pear. And then Peeps Cake, because that's a marshmallow cake. Um, while I don't really detect a, a cake note, I think it's just adding more sugar. So yeah, the, re the end result for this was just an overly sickly, sugary, sweet kind of thing. So, you know, I didn't really like it. Um, as always, the way with Rose Girls, because I have... Uh, some things throw well, some things do not throw well for me. Um, and it seems like always the scents I don't like are the ones that throw super strongly. So this one was super strong, um, for at least five hours and then it kind of petered off a bit. Um, but yeah, not something I repurchased. I wasn't really a huge fan of that one. Uh, Teddy Bees again. So Tyrion Lannister, birch and black pepper and a hint of violet pear. This was, is a pear scent on the other hand. I can get behind. This smells so good. It is mostly birch and black pepper. Like, it's mostly got that peppery, fresh tone. The When she says a hint of Bartlett pear, it truly is just a hint. Just a touch of pear. You can almost, you can barely even tell it's pear. It's just a pop of fruity sweetness. But it smells really good. Just a gorgeous, refined kind of outdoorsy scent with just a little bit of sweetness to lighten it up. Um, strong throw. Look, I've got another pie souffle whatever you want to call them on the way um i don't know if it will be one i need to repurchase after i get through this and that because for me that's a fair bit of wax but i possibly would repurchase it again like it is a very nice scent i did quite a bit of teddy bees i sort of forgot but i'm looking at it all now so uh christmas trees and cream so fresh pine boughs um vanilla sugar waffle cone and rich vanilla butter cream one of my all-time favorite scents i have another clam in the drawer after this and i ordered another clam in the pre-order today um contemplated getting a loaf but i had too much things so i don't know i don't know i really don't know how to explain this one other than to say even if you don't like pine try it um it's just like it definitely has a piney freshness to it, but the what the vanilla sugar waffle chrome and the buttercream does to it, it's just this sort of sweet, it's got the kind of buttercream zing, like a good buttercream has a bit of a zing to it and it has that. And it's creamy and it's just it just creates this scent that is just so much better than the, you know, the, the sum of the parts kind of thing like it just amplifies into something else so um always super strong throw 100% like I I can't be without Christmas trees and cream um I'm possibly talking myself into ordering some more in this pre-order um it seems on the one hand it seems to get requested and made every pre-order um but on the other hand it would be just my luck that when I run out of it nobody will be asking for it anymore so but I also don't like hoarding wax so that's where I go back and forth uh, Teddy Bee's Teddy Bear Biscuits. So warm beignets made with nutmeg, creamy vanilla, coated in powdered sugar and dipped in whipped cream. So this is good. Um, I enjoyed it. It's maybe not my favourite bakery. It is very strong on that kind of nutmeg spice. You know, it, it, and it is a bit of on the drier side of a bakery, but... It's, it's warm and it's comforting. Um, it's very nutmeggy. Um, I've had this, I've had her Teddy Bear Biscuits in um, Mrs. Teddy Bear, which blended it with, um, I think, pie, cherry pie crust filling. And that I loved. So 
Um, I may actually even try, I feel like I love teddy bear biscuits, but I feel like it needs to be blended with other things. So I may blend this maybe with some other fruity scents and see how it goes. So I'm not sure if I'd need to repurchase teddy bear biscuits again. Um, but Mrs. Teddy Bear, on the other hand, I, I was sad that wasn't in the pre-order because I really, really like that one. More teddy bears. Uh, so cheesecake cookies. Sugar cookies, creamy cheesecake, graham crackers, marshmallow cream, and a hint of sweet spice. So this is a, this is a really good cheesecake scent. Um, even if you don't love cheesecake scents, I'd say you'd probably still... Like, I don't get that kind of sour cheesecake note that you can get. To me, I get I actually get a lot of cookies. So the sugar cookie and I think the graham cracker gives that kind of a lot of that bakery kind of tone. I do get a slight touch of the spice, and then just yeah, a really really nice creamy kind of scent. So yeah, to me this is like a cookie first with just a bit of cheesecake rather than being cheesecake heavy with a little bit of cookie. Um, the throw was look the throw on, on this one maybe wasn't as strong as some of the others. Again, maybe it needed a little bit more cure time. Um, I think the throw was sort of medium high. Um, I'm not feeling I need to get that one again either, but it is nice. Prime stretch three more. Uh, so Waxidents, White Woods, Palo Santo, and Santa. So one of my customs. This look. I think in retrospect, each of those woodsy scents is a blender. It's not. They don't necessarily go so well together on their own. Because this is a nice incense -y, woodsy kind of scent, um, but it doesn't have any real presence to it. Like, if I walked into the room, I could smell it, and I could smell it anywhere. So it wasn't like it wasn't throwing, um, but it just, my no it's, it, it slipped away from my nose view um, very, very quickly. Um, so yeah, it's a not it's a not bad scent, but I feel like with each of those scents, I would need to, they should be blended with other things, not each other. Um, so I wouldn't get that one again. Uh, tea time tarts, ain't no hollaback girl. So sweet and plump blackberries, tart red raspberries, zesty lemongrass, fresh citrus. Um, this is not bad. It's going down in my lounge room. Um, it has been overpowered. So I was melting uh, L three waxy wonders mango mango chili and salt or something and in the bedrooms and I could smell that more than I could smell this I mean that said I think this is playing into a bit because it has got that really that zesty lemongrass and citrus really comes out quite strongly so this is definitely more of a tart kind of scent so I kind of feel like the tartness of this was playing into playing into the sort of salty side of um that L3 scent, so it, it wasn't so much that I wasn't smelling this at all, but it was just, yeah, kind of melding in a weird way. Um, this is not bad. I don't feel like I need to repurchase it, though, and it's kind of hard to talk about the throw at the moment because of the way the other scent is throwing over the top of it. And the last one, uh, British Creepy Treasures Mad Hatter, so tea and cakes, sweet and creamy, and Danish butter cookies. So super cute little um, dual colour pumpkins so this scent is nice like you definitely get the tea and cakes it's like a creamier because danish butter cookies are a bit of a creamy bakery sweet and creamy i don't know what that is but i assume it's sweet and creamy um so it's definitely more a slightly more bakery kind of creamy tea and cakes pardon me um the throw was good not like super strong but it was good um it's not one I'm feeling I need to get again. Like it's, I mean, I love anything with tea and cakes. Just about if you can smell the tea and cakes, I'm probably gonna like it. Um, but you know, it didn't really grab me the way that some of my favourite tea and cakes blends do. Uh, so that's it. That is everything that I melted for the week. Um, so very teddy bees heavy, and um, you know the. I went pretty heavy at the pre-order because it's definitely one of my favourite um, vendor brands. Um, so check that out. This video should, the pre-order should still be open when I put this video up. So um, I definitely recommend checking that out. Um, eight week turnaround time, but um, I think her wax is worth the wait. So yeah, thank you so much for watching as always. And I'll talk to you all again really soon. Bye.